Today, we're chatting about every product photographer's best friend, glycerin. So let's talk about the ways that we use glycerin and how you can use it in your product photography. So the first way is say for a canned beverage. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> cut, cut. Cut. So let's talk about how we actually use glycerin in our product photography. Let's this time use maybe something that's not fizzy as an example. So, glycerin when it's 50% mixed with water, so that's 50% glycerin, 50% water, gives your product photography cans and beverages a beautiful beaded finish, which won't run or drip or alter for a long time. Like literally we get hours out of this product now looking like that. If we want to do video, generally we'll increase the water content, so maybe 75% water in the spritzer, and we start to get those beautiful beads running down the cans as we're doing our slow motion videos. So the second way we use glycerin in product photography is straight out of the jar. So this particular container was from a local supermarket, 200 mils, it was $8 or $9. Relatively cost effective. So glycerin as a product is quite viscous. Glycerin itself is a beauty product. They use it for soothing skin, dry skin. And some of the shots that you'll see here uh, is just straight glycerin poured out of a product or a container to give that nice slow drip and appeal. Uh, you just find you can get better shots doing it that way than you can with water because water is just too thin or the viscosity isn't enough. Uh, and this is the perfect answer for that. So glycerin is every good product photographer's little secret. Comment below if you use it a different way. Uh, if you've never known what it is and how people do it, I'd love to hear from you. Obviously subscribe to the channel and like this video if you think it was valuable content. I'm really interested to know if you can level up your product photography and if you can charge more based on such a simple little product.